Hey guys, um, I just got done filming my products I'm loving right now video, so if you want to see that, this should be uploaded before this. But this is going to be my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, my eyes seem to vary a little bit, but they have been sticking to the same thing lately, so this is what I do. So, if you want to see how I do it, which I'm not wearing it right now, keep watching. First day is my Body Sense Revive Eye Serum. And I just put a little bit here. And it really doesn't take much. And I do up and to right here, out to right here. Because this is a brightening serum also. And I also do on my eyelid. Because wrinkles happen anywhere. That sound is my mom washing dishes. Okay. So, first what I do is I moisturize my face usually, but I'm not doing it today because I haven't been doing that lately. Um, I first start off with my foundation, which I can't find. The foundation I'm using, which I actually forgot to put in my products, I'm loving video is my CoverGirl Clean Foundation for normal skin, and this is in ivory. So yeah, and I don't use this all over my face. It's kind of weird, but it's just how I like doing it. I take my Elf foundation brush and just take a little bit right on my cheeks where I have redness and under my eyes because I do use some pretty good coverage powders. And I don't pull it down any farther. This is just to add a little bit of extra coverage. Like I added way too much right there. And if I put too much, I just blend it down my cheekbones. So yeah, that's just to cover up a little bit. And sometimes I don't put any powder over it and I just go like that. But what I do most of the time is I'll take my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, or Dream Matte Powder, on my Studio Tools Bookie. Swirl it in there. And just set my eye area with that and my cheek where I had the foundation. And then, so basically I'm sitting right here and up here. And then I'll take my L'Oreal, whoops, and I'll take my L'Oreal True Match Powder and tap this off, swirl it in there. And I'll get the rest of my face. And I usually don't set, or I usually don't put up here just because I don't really know why. And I also get my nose with this. This powder seems to work better for down here, and this one seems to work better for up here. It's not really, um, like, I could go with the other one all over my face, but it seems to get kind of cakey. And then if I'm putting any powder on my forehead, I usually use my CoverGirl Press Powder, which looks like this, with my e.l.f. powder brush, because I don't want that thick of a coverage up here. I just swirl it in and dust it on, blending it in. The colors don't really look different, but I just want to make sure that there's not a difference. And that's usually what I do for my face. If I'm having a really bad day or if I didn't sleep, I might put a little bit of a peachy toned concealer, liquid concealer under my eyes to take the blue away. 
or a stick concealer. So when I do my eyes, I start off with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I go in with um, Nick Strawberry Jello Pencil. I mean, Strawberry Milk, usually. But this is what I'm going to do today. Today I'm going to take just this pigment from Ulta, a mineral eyeshadow. And this is in marine. And I'm going to take this on a stiff shader brush. Well, no. I can't find it. Okay, I'm just going to take it on a regular shader brush. Whoa. I'm going to get a little bit of water to, like, make it easier to put on. So, get some on and I'm just going to Spray a little bit of water on it. You can use Fix Plus. And now I'm going to just kind of paint it on. So I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the green color all over my lid and now I'm just going to take a plummy brown color and this is Violetta and I'm just going to take it on a blending brush and I'm just going to add a little bit to the crease or the outer V. Just a little bit. You don't really want it to be able to notice that you have purple on. You just want to kind of darken out the crease and add a little bit of color overlapping. So that's usually what I do for my eyes, shadow, or I'll take a clean shader brush or a clean blending brush and then just blend out the color really nicely on my eyelid. Which might seem like I'm defeating the purpose of even putting it on, but I'm not. Just to kind of take away the shimmer and the pop. Like this. That's how I like it. It makes my eye color really pretty. Lash Blast. lip color Lip gloss. And that's it. Um, it's usually what I do every day. So, oh yeah. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, just comment below. And um, I'll probably have all the products in the sub bar. Charles Sherbury for the way. Okay, bye.